Oh hey, uh, welcome back. Haven't uh, made very many videos lately. I've been uh, still, uh, you know, just for what you've been paying attention, just moved to Florida and I'm still living in a motel. Don't move into my house until hopefully uh, next week. So I'm out here exploring, having a good time. Uh, I've been out to this spot a few times. There's a nice little uh, camping area over there and uh, a little bit of a uh, but to go play in but obviously you know if you watch a lot of my videos the one wheel drive uh nissan time does not to do too good off road so keeping it uh to a minimum is what we're doing it's been raining all day uh just kind of stopped about an hour ago and uh gonna come out here i already drove this same route we're getting ready to take but i uh wanted to stop and uh, turn the camera on and we'll have a little discussion oh so yeah look hey no no uh no carry but you can see my piece right there obviously so I'm gonna go with, uh, get in here oh look at that too florida, florida law is really weird it, uh, you know if you have a concealed carry permit you can carry your uh, firearm concealed on your person while you're in your vehicle but if not you're not supposed to and then it's supposed to be securely encased and while I don't know uh, I don't want to roll the dice on that definition to me that gun underneath my uh, TV player is securely encased but you know there's been a few people you know reading online they're like oh well that means it needs to you know have a retention strap on it or you know this that and other well I'm out in the middle of nowhere and uh, being that I saw a bear as I was driving in here not only do I have one on my hip, but uh, I'm going to be rocking that one right there too. Just in case. Not that the bear is going to walk up to my truck, break the window, pull me out, and start beating me up, but yeah. So, yeah, keep this. Yeah, what really sucks is uh, the nice the fact that there's a wasp trying to get in the door from the window. Uh, you know, this. Here we go breaking the uh, Fifth Amendment. Uh, this is not public land where I'm at. This is probably somebody's private property and just haven't really put a sign up. Uh, and there's no fences at all in this area. So we're out here enjoying. I'm trying to get some more. Uh, I had desert pinstripes on my truck. Now I'm getting wilderness pinstripes, forest pinstripes, you know. Maybe goes all the way down, scratches the whole side of your truck, that's what you call it. So yeah, this is uh there's no, you know, public land in the state of Florida really. I mean there's uh, a few parks and such you can go to and camp and stuff like that, but really for like what what I used to <coughs> do in New Mexico all the time, you know, going out in the middle of nowhere and doing whatever I want. It's not really completely possible here. Like I, I really want to shoot. I brought my rifle. Uh, and I want to shoot while I'm out in this area, but I uh, I'm not supposed to. So so that's it. If you ever wonder why my truck looks so crampy, it's right there. It's part of the reason. Hold on, let me stop in that. Get your bathroom. So no more just going out in the wilderness and uh, camping, shooting, and uh, doing whatever I want. So it kind of, you know, sucks. Speaking of sucking, look, look at this. Uh, bottomed out on the way. Uh, there we go. Need a skid plate. <laughs> kind of felt like a teeter totter there for a minute. Yeah, not to mention that you know there's no uh, no legal way to shoot out here in the middle of the woods. 
anything, and uh, you're not really supposed to camp either. But uh, what, what really sucks, worse than those things, uh, I mean, because you can come out here and camp, maybe you might get busted, you know, or get busted, and, you know, just deal with the consequences. But the bugs out here are horrible. And, uh, like, really bad. Like, obviously, if you lived in this kind of climate before, terrain the area you know that you know a bunch of water bunch of water get up above that stuff so yeah that where I came from earlier before I started filming was just right up here. So yeah bugs are absolutely horrible here. <laughs> like I had Hopefully you guys were able to hear the whole time uh, while I was driving back there. The microphone was kind of loose and it just popped out, so I don't know. Hopefully you guys had good sound. If not, good. Maybe you don't want to hear me ramble on anyway. So yeah, one of the bad things about this location is uh, it's right next to a little private air airport, uh, airfield kind of deal. So if I shoot, you know, there's a lot of people out, live over there and uh, probably hear me. So 
here is the uh, nice little pond area. Now there's a big fish in there. I know I saw some little bitty, itty bitty little guys the other day. Let's see if we can't get stuck. Yeah, some of this stuff is kind of, you know, you never know how it's going to be. It looks completely fine and stable, and then you get down on it, and it's just like pretty much quicksand. Oh, and there's a guy over there on his bike, so, oh, four-wheeler. Yeah, I came down here the other day and my daughter ran through, uh, started walking, well it wasn't that muddy as it is now, started walking over there and ended up uh, losing a shoe and then had to go back and get it. Yeah, it was very, uh, very interesting. Well, she went and got it, I stayed on the, uh, the dry land. Having a big red truck, so hopefully you don't. No, I don't want to go down that one. That one's gonna mess with my. Uh... That's what sucks about my tow hitch. Actually, here, let me show y'all so you know exactly what I'm talking about. So my hitch. Oh yeah, see, look, it already did it again today. That's my. Uh, you know, when you get to to. Uh, too much of an angle, you know, and the ass in the truck's down, it, it bends that bracket. I wish they would have put that, you know, up here on that, on a bracket a little bit higher, uh, so it doesn't do that, but it does it frequently. Eventually, I, uh, need to lengthen those wires and move that out of the way. Yeah, going out here, doing this stuff, you know, by yourself is kind of interesting, you know. Like, uh, if I was getting stuck, it would suck, you know, I'd call a tow truck. Well, she's taking it like a champ, though. What sucks is the sand dries and stays on, you know, everything really, really, really hard to get off. And uh, obviously it gets into cracks and crevices and crap and, you know, gets into bearings and wears down your uh, stuff. So it's very interesting. There's a truck over there. I don't know if they like you gonna be mad that I'm over here or what? I don't know, he's got a trailer, maybe he's got a four-wheeler on it or something. 
say flag in the demo. No. Well, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute. Alright, so I talked to that guy and uh, asked him about, you know, shooting out here and everything. Yeah, obviously I know it's not really a sanctioned shooting range, you know, but he said that you know, cops don't really come out here that much except at night. He said people shoot over here by this house. Uh, there's a destroyed, burnt down, kind of like crappy little house over here. So I'm drive over there and take a look at it. I've looked at it before, but I didn't look for uh, evidence of people shooting over there or anything. Damn cactus right there. Yeah, it looks like we've already got some targets out. Looks like they're doing some, some shooting. But yeah! I don't know, I might roll the dice and do it. Like, yeah, just watch out, be careful for the beer bottles. So, sucks, nobody likes to clean up after themselves, you know. I'm not really worried about the beer bottles, you can run over them all you want. Nice truck tire and be fine. I'm just worried about nails and random pieces of steel that people might land around or something. And bugs, I don't like bugs. Check out that chimney, but I'm gonna get get the truck turned around. So I can go over there where I want to. But yeehaw. Make sure you got me a nice solid spot to back up, do a little three point. You guys want to walk over there with me and look at that. Chimney. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Brick house, you know. Fall apart like that. Freaking snake territory here. I should have put my boots on. Hmm, pretty interesting. Yeah, you can just hear all kinds of bugs and 
nasty stuff. Hmm. This is a bit, used to be a decent little area. I wonder what this is. It's kind of raised up. Kind of in between parked parts between the houses or something. Huh. That chimney's really, really, really big for the size of the house. Not to mention it doesn't really get cold enough here to need a chimney. To need a fireplace, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know if I want to shoot right here. It's just so close to that road, you know. Oh, I hit a uh hit a stop sign the other day, doing a making a turn, trying to turn around. I was wondering if I was going to cut it. I didn't cut it, but I was like, yeah, I'm going to hit it either way. Oh, hey, what do you think about this? Hopefully I didn't scratch it up. How long are we rolling for? Six minutes? That other, one, other video is probably about 20 minutes. So. <laughs> bug already trying to get in here. We'll go, uh, drive down right here, maybe take a few shots and then go to the other other side. I don't, I don't know. I might shoot if I'm way back in here. I've already been back down in here. It gets uh gets narrow and then pretty much it ends at that tree line right back there. enough to buy me a long sleeve t-shirt but I ain't washed one yet uh, trying to keep you know, bugs away and keep from getting sunburned good thing is they're white They'll keep you cooler you know bad thing is they're white it's stained easy <laughs> but uh back last time. Yeah, I think it, I think it didn't. And now it's like really, uh, it's real wet, so I don't know if I want to go back in here too much without walking it. Yeah, let's go back the other way. You guys can just act like we're Backing up in the video. Rewinding it. Maybe they're still able to watch. Yeah, I'm pretty decent at driving the little one wheel drive truck drip down trails and off road, but still, I'm so used to, you know, how things are in New Mexico with driving in that sand. I kind of forgot how the, uh, because this sand around here is more like beach sand. It's really, really fine. And it can look completely dry, like I was saying earlier. It can look completely dry. And you just like, well, if you've been to a beach, you know what I'm talking about? You like move your foot around on it or walk on it, and you'll notice that there's, it's, uh, it's really wet. Water's mixed in with it, obviously, because Florida's nothing but a giant sandbar. happens, I'll uh, turn it back on and let y'all know, 
But if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching the pretty boring video. Uh, I'm having fun out here, but I don't know if this is too much fun to just watch. And, uh, you know, those of you that are wanting more virtual checkpoint videos, uh, sorry. I'm, uh, thankfully, I'm away from those. Uh, but I have like three that I haven't released uh, yet to view for everybody to view for unforeseen re reasons they haven't been released so if you're one of my viewers that watches a lot and comments a lot or whatever send me a, uh, a message or something and I'll see if I can uh, get you a link to that video just uh, these are ones that I don't really want out to everybody just yet because uh, some of the circumstances in them and everything but uh, as always thanks for watching